on everyone welcome to another edition of basement gaming today we will be talking out talking about our pre e3 stream predictions yeah yeah i mean so far i believe everyone is accounted for obviously minus sony which at this point yeah, i'll take it shocking there, yeah. yeah uh i believe nintendo said they were going to be there last week and i'm pretty sure microsoft will be there because microsoft yeah, now microsoft owns but that's the but that's is always at E3 with its own program yeah. section. So I'm curious if they're still going to have their own section or if they're going to just incorporate it into Microsoft's, mm. which if they did, I feel like Microsoft's would have to go longer. Yeah, I think they would incorporate it. Well, I don't see. Go ahead. It would be weird. I'm not going to say weird because <laughs> yeah. Microsoft's normally on Microsoft and... Uh, EA, mm -hmm. I believe, normally goes Sunday. Yeah. Like, EA is like early yeah. afternoon and yeah. then, or early. No, EA is normally Saturday. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. And then Microsoft is like Sunday afternoon, like okay. early Sunday afternoon. And then Bethesda is usually on either that Sunday night or mm -hmm. sometimes like Monday afternoon before, yeah. or when Sony was there, before Sony. But I feel feel Microsoft was always like in two hours normally yeah about two yeah. hours so I feel like yeah. if they incorporate Bethesda they would have to go longer than two because yeah. Bethesda is like an hour or two also because of their mm. few slate of games yeah. and then their announcements and blah 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 yeah. but Microsoft always has their like oh welcome to Microsoft mm. blah 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 and then they give their stats yeah. sometimes and they have their indie line because you know there's always like 10 like they always have like like a, a montage of games coming out yeah. and then their game pass stuff and then they obviously they have their main trailers for their up and coming games yeah. their big three whatever games they have yeah and then they show gameplay they talk about they have their forza stage performance when they have random cars are sending the stage it's coming. yeah it, it it's is coming. it is it's okay but if they incorporate yeah Bethesda as well and take away Bethesda not I'm not gonna say take away like it's a bad thing but you know just yeah, Adam remove it yeah. off of their own well, schedule it's it would have to go a lot longer because they're not gonna cut out their indie stuff oh no that's like putting and, money. yeah they're yeah. not gonna cut that out and they can't cut out Game Pass because Game Pass is their bread, bread and butter, butter highlight <laughs> yeah. so I feel like if they did they would have to go longer than two hours which is just fine yeah, there's nothing wrong with that yeah. um Yeah, I, I feel as though, because it's usually on a Sunday, yes. they do. And now they keep that same schedule. Which um, they probably will. I'm sure they'll... Because not like anyone's after them, I think. So it's not like they would have to so, stop. So I would see them just taking having Sunday to themselves. Yeah. Basically, I, I don't see anything wrong with it. Mm -hmm. I think that, again, it can go either way. Uh, because yeah. here's, like, again, it's it's the thing that even though they were just... Lord, this isn't a rant. It, this is not going to be. I'm thinking strategically, uh -huh. business-wise with this. Okay. So let's say Sundays they had the two-hour run, right? Mm -hmm. Even if they, you know. That's a lot. No, 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 no. But here's the thing. Okay. Even if they had, what was it, dedicated two hours just for them, but this is before Bethesda? Yes. Okay. So even if we're accustomed to that, so now we see how we feel about them, and it was in two hours. Mm -hmm. If you're extending that, yeah. Now it increases that. Now, now you can look at it and say, well, now you have three hours, three and a half, maybe. Mm -hmm. I would say about three. I think they could fit. Another hour. Yeah, it depends on what Bethesda has to show. Because yeah. one of their games has to come out this year. Either, like, I think Bethesda, normally each company has at least one major title. Yeah between E3 and holiday season. Yeah. EA's is normally, or the last time was Star Wars. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't be surprised if this year, I think is gonna be Battlefield. Cause that Battlefield's news have been slightly yeah. coming out, ramping yeah. up, but Isn't people- there an open world coming out for Star Wars? Or is that maybe, maybe they'll show it next That's year? That's probably next year. Okay. Because- Well, go ahead. So I think this year will be Battlefield for them, right? Okay. So that's my assumption. I'm pretty sure we'll get a Battlefield trailer, probably yeah. some gameplay, maybe a beta announcement, yeah. blah, 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 blah. I think that'll be for them. 
uh, Microsoft will have Halo, obviously, unless something tragic happens, and they're like, oh, about that coming out this year. Yeah. Nintendo will have something. Sony has your own thing going on. Horizon. Yeah. I I don't see God of War coming out this year. No, because I don't either. No. It's still, it's said this year or 2021 or something. People are like, oh my God, God of War. And yeah. I was like, I don't see God of War coming out. Yeah, because um, they already would, talked about Horizon, and yeah. I don't see Horizon and God of War both at holiday, and it's yeah. too late, in my opinion, for Horizon to be announced for, like, August. Yeah. And then God of War to be, like, October, November. Yeah. No, I would say this. Mm-hmm. Um, again, to back to my point, then I'll, I'll go back to mm-hmm. yours. So they have that additional two, additional hour, hour and a, I'm assuming hours should be enough. If they show <sighs> something, but here's here's, here's my point. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. Talking. Sorry. So they can do that, right? Mm-hmm. But again, now it increases. Okay, we're giving you three hours. Yes. So you better show something great in that three hour mark. You see my point? Like the more yes. the two hour window we gave them, they're just like we're like. Oh, okay. Well, now if you keep extending it, you have to now have something yes to show that oh okay now they're finally on the right track or maybe all the investments are finally paying off yes if you don't it's like for, for three hours you showed us nothing again like why is this well, a thing so my uh, go ahead no, no. no sorry continue 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 i i'm again I, I i i'm thinking about i have my moments where i think about this as business and a gamer okay and they both intertwine together yes because for gamers, we benefit, the business benefits gamers being Yeah, happy. because we get, E3 is our, like, Super Bowl or NBA thing. We see what they've all exactly. been working That's on. We're point. like, okay, what am I playing how, this year? How and I then, look at it as, like, again, you know I absolutely love movie trailers. I yes. go to the movies, make sure I'm super early so then I can Yes, I know your anger. If you, if yes, if certain, I see the trailer. Certain like, people upstairs like, have us running late. <laughs> like, and I sit there, I'm just like... Trash, trash. Like that's how we are. Yeah. That's how we. That's how we are. So to me, that's how I look at E3. It's yeah. the trailer before the actual movie comes out. Yeah. So so far, what I've seen from them, their trailers, I'm like, I know this is gonna be bad. I'm gonna prove to you it's gonna be bad. What happens? It's bad. So Bethesda, I genuinely, and I don't know about a lot of the indie games. So far, what I've seen from the indie games, it looks like a bunch of colorful fairies and barbies. I don't see. Like I don't in the, in my head, that's how they look. Mm-hmm. I. <laughs> So I don't know. I Bethesda is that hope, mm-hmm. and I really hope that it they do. Like I pretty they have a lot of things to them, mm-hmm. but yeah, I I I just I'm hoping. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna start. Okay, so I'm gonna top it all. I'm gonna finish what I'm saying for sure. Bethesda E3 and move on to another sure. company. But mm-hmm. my thing is. If they do incorporate Bethesda into their press conference and they don't give Bethesda their own, or Bethesda doesn't keep their own, you know, press conference or their digital platform, obviously, this okay. year, I'm thinking about it more when you're talking, and I feel like it would have to be more than three hours. Because okay. they have the, it's, it takes them two hours, pretty much, just about two hours yeah. to go from between their stage talks, yeah. the trailers, the initial trailer, then the gameplay trailer, and then the dev talking about it. Yeah. And between all that, there's indie games that get a montage pretty much, yeah. and then Game Pass stuff now. Of course, yeah. So now that they acquired all these studios, they have mm-hmm. to incorporate what other what games those studios are bringing to Game Pass this year. Yes. And what they're working on the show. If it's not this year, obviously it'll be like 2022 or. They're to be yeah. determined crap that I get so mad about every time. Because I'm like, oh my god, that game looks fun. Oh, and then it's like, man. date yeah. to be announced. I'm just like, that's not coming out for a while. Yeah. And then now you tack on the studios. People are going to be like, okay, when's Hellblade 2? Are we going to get a trailer for that? Are we going to get an announcement? Nothing, it's still, uh, yes. Wait, and then yeah. you have all these studios, you know, working on whatever. Yeah. They have to, if they have a trailer or whatever to show, mm-hmm. they have to incorporate that. Yes. Now you're tacking on Bethesda. Bethesda yeah. Now you have to say, okay. Where can we fit, um, let's say, Elder Scrolls? Because mm-hmm. I still feel like they have, they like I said, each company has a big game that always comes out. Yeah. What's Bethesda this year? Is it Elder Scrolls? Is it uh, Stargate? I don't think it's Dragon Age for like another year or so. Mm-hmm. So let's say it's Elder Scrolls. People are going to say, oh, Elder Scrolls trailer. Are we going to get gameplay? Then yeah. they say, where? all right, trailer, gameplay, 
release yeah. date or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. They have to incorporate all of Bethesda's normal press conference, what they're going to yeah. show, into Microsoft. There is absolutely no way they're fitting all of that in two hours, not even right, really now, okay, three. Okay, but now that extends the problem. Yes. Because now it's... If it would be a four-hour show. A four hour show. If you have a four-hour show and really nothing to show for it, it doubles the damage. Well, yes, but like I said, it depends what their studios would bring. Because obviously okay. the main draw for Microsoft this year is Halo. Of course. Their screenshots they show last month, everyone was like, yes. Okay. Why wasn't this <laughs> the original, like, screenshots? Yeah. So, going into E3, everyone's going to be like, which is, what, two months away pretty much now, because we're almost at the end of April. Yeah. So, obviously, I think news is just going to start ramping up in yeah. May. So, you're going in, you're like, okay, what does Microsoft have? Yeah. We already know Game Pass. Yeah. The main draw, Halo. Everyone's going to say, let's, let's see Halo. Yeah. Outside of that, they're going to say, okay, what else? Obviously, their montage crap, mm -hmm. their game pass, blah, 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 and then whatever else they show. Yeah. Uh, their other main draw was Hellblade 2. Yeah. The people are going to say, okay, are we going to see Hellblade? Yeah. No? We hate you. <laughs> and then they're going to say, they're going to probably throw a teaser oh, in there for mm -hmm. Gears or Forza and then whatever else they have. But that's the, to me, would need to keep its own press conference not just because it's part of Microsoft, but also because they still have their third party games that's yeah. not exclusive. So they can't exactly have, they can't show um, one of their games that's yeah. coming out for Sony this year and next year on a Microsoft yeah. show because it's not going to be to them. Yeah. But that, that's. Makes a point. I see your point. Yeah. Right, I see the separation of the two. Yeah. Because I know for Xbox, because I know with Xbox, um, Oh, sorry. I know with Xbox, um, there's been talk also because if Sony's not going to be there, there's only really two companies that would show like Dragon Ball games coming out and we saw yeah. on Xbox. Even though, obviously, PC gets it, but like on Steam, it's main. but it's usually mods and stuff that people yeah. benefit from it. Um, so I know that's the rumor, mm -hmm. maybe r rumor, of um, Xenoverse? Maybe Xenoverse mm -hmm. because that's. Honestly, no, no, no. You know what? I won't say Xenoverse because they're still pushing out DLCs. Yeah, like honestly, business. if they don't... I would say... Go ahead. I'm sorry. If, I know people will be like, are we ever going to get a Xenoverse 3? That's your side of the... I the, don't think they will, and I have a, I have a, a reason why. I feel like if they don't at least tease it mm -hmm. at this year's E3, I don't think you're ever going to get it. But here's why I say it's not coming. And here's why I, fear, I feel like it's not going to come. Mm -hmm. History has shown with Dragon Ball games, it's they give you two. Yeah. They give you um, Raging Blast. Raging one Blast or two, two. Tenkaichi. I think Tenkaichi maybe went to three. Mm -hmm. Budokai. Not, Budokai. So yeah, I think that went to three, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. I think that's the only one. Mm -hmm. The only other trailer they might drop is for Kakarot. Because yes, the last, that makes sense. They can't do any more DLCs. If they want to put out another game, this DLC that's coming out for few, past Future Trunks has moved to start mm -hmm. off with the, with the androids. Is it? Mm -hmm. If they go beyond that, then there's really no point of making a second, making one. another one because you're gonna go to Zamasu, I'm assuming. Then you have Super, then you have a lot of like you're already in Super technically. Yeah. So yeah. I would say maybe there is a trailer coming for Kakarot that would drop next year, and this would be the last DLC. Mm -hmm. If they do not, the reason again, I don't see them doing another Xenoverse three it's right now because it's money. done yeah and they're putting out dlcs the the manga well the manga the anime the anime the anime is at is standstill at this point I in the show yes in the show in the, the game already caught yeah up. but so i go ahead. i think there will be a dragon ball z game this year yeah, i feel I like almost every year there's been a new money. dragon ball z game yeah so obviously people aren't getting the anime anytime soon that's that's, yeah, people are me. like on their hands and knees, just like begging you're not for it. So, <laughs> and there's, and there's not. nothing against them. Yeah, it's just that the an this is obviously we've been down this road before. Yeah. But you're not the anime is not coming anytime soon because they're trying to do what other mangas, mangas do is they're so far ahead and yeah. then they can do the anime, which I agree, that's fine. Yeah. So, um, now unless they just stick with. Xenoverse 2. And just keep making Let it rock DLC. and then DLC. So they, they do Milk that. Milk it dry. 
Might as well. Yeah. Because they can't, if that's the case, then there's no more DLCs. They're not going to, they're making money from the DLCs, obviously. Yeah. Which will hold them over until, I guess, the anime comes out, or and then they can, I'm pretty sure they'll do a Fomoro and Granola and whatever yeah. else comes out. Granola. Um, yeah, it's the whole thing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there. Yeah. There is. <clears throat> There's going to be a Dragon Ball Z game. It just depends on what. Like, obviously, I think they'll show a DLC for Mimi's Universe, like you said. Mm-hmm. I don't think Kakarot will get another thing, unless it's just something random for a content. Yeah, DLC. yeah like, it's, oh, unless yeah, it's just no, something no, no. random for it's... a content drop. And it's yeah. too soon to make another Kakarot. It's too soon to tease another Kakarot when they've just okay. now finished, right? That's one game That's out. Okay. It's too sway too soon to tease another Fighter Z because they're still doing DLC characters. Yeah, and well, it's too soon. Well, not too soon, but the only option, the only two options that are uh, technically three, I guess. One would be if they remade one of the other. And that's what they were Dragon Ball Z. suggesting yeah. was them completely and not doing like a HD master, like no, like completely overhauling, overhauling yes. and bringing the graphics to new gen console, which yeah. would be fine. So if they did that for Raging Blast or Tenkaichi, and mm-hmm. even if they did, ra- if well, I would be okay if they took Raging Blast because mm-hmm. I love that game. Mm-hmm. If they took Raging Blast or Budokai Tenkaichi, completely I... overhauled it and then bringing in the characters, new characters now. So Go ahead. my thing is with that, since. Um, Fighter Z is doing so well yeah. with sales, uh, population, and I guess the esports team for the fighting tournaments. Mm-hmm. I don't think they oh, would have risked. Yeah, game. I don't think they would okay. risk remastering another fighting game when their bread and butter right now is that because it cool. would it would take away the population yeah. because if they see an old game that they people used to gonna, play. I people are gonna buy. People will it. buy and they will make money, but it will drop the population yeah. and then what about the, they're going to think about okay what about the tournaments yeah. we i don't think they would risk I would fighter z dropping in population and yeah. especially if they're still dropping dlc and want people to buy the dlc yeah if they're just gonna because oh, let's man. say Go ahead, let's say they about. have yeah. i don't even know who's coming next but let's say they see the roster and it's updated, like you said, like no DLC. There's just like, all right, it's a brand new here's the full roster. Thing, yeah. Here's people Jaren, from, yes. People, yeah. So people are going to like, why did I just spend yeah. all this money throughout what? How long is break? How long is the game now? Two years? It's about two years. How, I yeah. think the only way, I have two things. The okay. only way it somewhat would work because Fighters is a very much arcade style thing. Yes. Tenkaichi and, 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 um, Budokai? Oh, wait, no. Raging, <laughs> Raging, Raging Blast, Blast, yes. Are more um like the Naruto fighting, like open. Yes. So, I mean, that's the only reason why I can say it might work. Because I don't think, I don't wouldn't see them doing a tournament like that. Mm-hmm. I would see, I would think they would leave the tournament to Fighter Z and then just allow that to be what it is. Mm-hmm. But I just forgot. Demon Slayer. I forgot about yes, the game. Yes, that's oh, what I'm saying. Jesus. So, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I a forgot. Minute. So Xbox can easily show. So that does make sense. Yeah. So don't. maybe that makes sense. I don't because I was thinking, well, why don't they just come out with? Um, I know they. I know what they were trying to do with Jump Force. I. Uh, I haven't played that, that game. Was I so understand what they were trying to do. With terrible. Out. I. I can see them making an arcade style like Fighter Z, but. Wait. But what's wrong? Not Jump Force. What was that other game that came out? Huh? Like a couple of years ago. It was before Jump Force. It was oh, um, I played it too. Yes, I know it had I... all the. It was pre. It was before Jump. It was. It was Jump Force before Jump Force. Yes, it was but, a better Jump Force. Yes, <laughs> and I can't I remember, don't even the remember the game. The game was so much fun. Yes. Um, all. All Stars or something. Yes. Jump Star. Jump, jump Stars. Something like that. Jump, yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah, that that's one. What it was. Yeah. They if should. They, come back with that. they should remaster that and. Keep, I would say keep the roster as it was. Yeah. And if they want to make money, which they do. Just update the roster. Yeah. Do DLC. Yeah. Okay. I see. So that, but I forgot. I, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I, no, no, I forgot good. all about that you're game. Good. But yes, I forgot they were making the Demon, Demon Slayer, Slayer and, and the, the mobile. mobile. So they might just announce. Well, I haven't heard so much of the mobile. The game... They could do the mobile version first. If they announce it, if they, we've seen more about the mobile than no, I think I've seen more about the mobile than the really? fighter because they only do screenshots 
And okay, then the mobile yeah, yeah. ones has screenshots as well, but it's just in Jump Festa. Yeah, I see your point. Well, either way, yes, they could announce, which they probably will, now that I think about it. Yeah. They probably will announce Demon Slayer for holiday this year. I if not sooner. I would say fall. August. August. Yeah. I would say between August and fall. Unless yeah. they're just like, oh, Demon Slayer out July or whatever. And we're like, oh, okay, sure. Why not? <laughs> well, yeah, I forgot oh, about God. that. So yeah. I guess that would so take the place for the, Dragon Ball. Yeah, yeah. I okay. think that's the thing. That, that, yeah, I completely forgot that, about that. As I'm that, talking, that, I'm like, what can I do? Oh, and we're seeing the movie next week, too. I forgot. <laughs> Actually, I'll be the next track. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna talk about that so movie. dope. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. All right. Anything else? Um, no, we can cover the other companies later. All right. Cool. We cover next, I guess, uh, Saturday's video. Saturday's video. All, all right. Cool. Right, all right cool. See you Look later. at that. <laughs> Not idiot. <laughs> all right. So, I guess <laughs> uh, today was part one of our pre E3 discussion where we covered Microsoft, Bethesda, and I somehow Bandai Namco. <laughs> they always slip in, man. They always slip in. So, obviously, hopefully, Microsoft keeps band Bandai keeps, um, but that's a separate, but that's a, does their own press conference probably Monday, hopefully. Yeah. Microsoft does their Sunday afternoon-ish. Yeah. Oh, and technically, we cover EA as well a little bit. A little well, bit, I guess yeah. we cover EA as part two fully. Yeah. EA is normally Saturday, um, but Microsoft Sunday, <laughs> and but that's just normally like Monday yeah. evening, I guess now since mm -hmm. Sony's doesn't want to attend, which I guess we'll talk about that next, next video. Time, yeah. um, comment, like, and subscribe if you have anything you want to talk about, have us talk about, and if you have anything to say on the topics at hand. And we will be back on Saturday for part two with we'll start with EA, get okay. them out the way, see what they have what we can yeah. think of that they got on a chopping block for us <laughs> um sony hopefully i'm i'm gonna include sony i don't know when their press conference is because for whatever reason they like being you know, no, secret like, and mythical are, hopefully like, oh, it's we, during uh, hopefully it's during e3 week yeah and not like next in like july randomly yeah. like oh our things tuesday afternoon we're like why just have it with everybody else yeah and who else is there i don't know EA, Microsoft, Bethesda, Sony. I feel like I'm forgetting a company. Anyways, we we'll look at it later. Right. <laughs> I feel like I'm forgetting. Uh, PC game show, oh, Nintendo. Man. Yeah. Right. And we will catch you all. Peace. Tribal Chief. <laughs> <laughs>